in this podcast, we're going to talk about alkanes. Um, in class, we spent some time talking about how to take a condensed structural formula and name it using the IUPAC rules for alkanes. And we also um, worked backwards. We used the name to draw the condensed structural formula. So we're going to do a couple of the more difficult practice problems from your handout. When you approach an alkane, and that's um, any of these molecules that have a single bond, you're going to look for the longest continuous chain of carbons. So what you want to do is try to um, find that longest chain and then either draw a circle around it or draw a line through it so you know what your longest chain is. So here I see my longest chain is one, two, three, four carbons long. Now keep in mind that I could have turned this down this way and still had a long chain, or I could have turned it up to that other methyl group as well. But either way, um, I have a four chain molecule. So just to kind of keep my place, I'm gonna go ahead and I know that four is but, and since we have single bonds, it is butane. So I'm gonna write the ending to this right now just to keep my spot. So this is a butane molecule. It also has functional groups coming off. So right here I see a methyl group coming off and another methyl group coming off. And I want to number my carbons such that um, one of those methyl groups has the lowest possible numbered carbon as possible. So if I start here, this is carbon one, and I have a methyl group coming off of carbon two, and it's actually the same working the other way. Um, so I'm just gonna stick with this, one, two, three, and four for my carbons. So I have a methyl group coming off of my second carbon, and I also have it coming off of my third carbon. So this molecule is called 2,3, and because I have two of the same functional group, I'm gonna use the prefix di-methyl-butane. So again, I have, this is telling me that I have a four carbon chain for my longest with a single bond, two methyl groups coming off of carbons two and carbon three. Okay, so um, be real careful when you're approaching a problem like this that you remember what a C2H5 is. That's an ethyl group. That means we have two carbons connected here and two carbons connected here. So I wanna try to find my longest chain. And my gut says, boom, right here, go through that. Um, but notice that we have one, two, three, four carbons. So let's double check that we don't have um, a longer chain elsewhere. If I start an ethyl, that's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and now I'm gonna continue down just to see if it gets any more carbons than five. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So notice that what at first glance looks like functional groups coming off of my longest chain, it's not. That is in fact my longest chain that has methyl groups coming off of it. So let's figure out how to name this guy. Because there are six carbons in a row, this is gonna be a hexane. Okay, and I'm gonna count starting at the top. I have one, two carbons here. This is my third carbon. So I have a methyl group coming off of carbon number three. This is carbon number three, here's carbon number four. I have my other methyl group coming off of carbon number four. Because I, they are both methyl groups, I can use the prefix di as we did in the last screen. So this is a dimethyl hexane. So here we have 3,4-dimethylhexane. Hexane is showing that my longest continuous carbons are six, and I have two methyl groups coming off in positions off of carbon three and carbon four. Okay, so now let's work in the opposite direction. You're given a name, and we are asked to write the condensed structural formula. So let's start with, how long is my continuous chain of carbons? Butte tells us that we have four continuous carbons and only single bonds. So I'm gonna start by drawing my four continuous carbons and I don't wanna put my hydrogens in yet because I don't know if I'm gonna have one hydrogen or two based on the functional groups that I have. Um, so we're just gonna leave space for those hydrogens. Now, um, I'm told that I have two methyl groups in positions off of coming off of carbon two and carbon three. So I'm just gonna number my carbons for now and I will erase those because that doesn't have any place in the condensed structural formula. I see that coming off of carbon two, I have a methyl group, which is CH3, and coming off of carbon three, and I'm gonna erase my three, I also have another methyl group. So I'm gonna draw my methyl group coming off of carbon three. I'm gonna erase these numbers so that it doesn't get confusing. 
So the last thing I need to do is go back and make sure I have enough hydrogens um, to give each of my carbons a stable octet. So this carbon is bonded to one other atom, which means it will need three hydrogens. This carbon is bonded to one, two, three other atoms. So I'm just going to put one H to give it its fourth. Okay, same thing's going on here. This carbon has one, two, three atoms coming off of it, so we'll just do a CH. And finally, the fourth carbon has uh, carbon attached to it and nothing else, so I'm going to need three hydrogens coming off of there. All right, there's a little bit more going on in this. I see that we have a pentane molecule, which is five carbons, so that's where I'm going to start by putting five carbons in a row. And I'm going to leave spaces for those hydrogens. Um, don't quite know how many I'm going to need at what position until I get my functional groups filled in. So here we have our pentane, and they're going to have single bonds between them. Um, notice that we're going alphabetical off of the third carbon. We have an ethyl group, so I'm going to start from the left. I'm the number one, two, three, four, five. Of course, I'm going to erase these before um, I have a final answer, but this is just to kind of keep my functional group straight and where they should be coming off of. So coming off of carbon number three, we have an ethyl group. Um, remember that ethyl is two carbons and uh, five hydrogens. So I can either draw that as CH2, CH3, okay, which shows both of those carbons, or um, I can do that in a more condensed version, and it would look like C2, H5. I'm going to stick um, with the original one that I have. Just know that um, you may see it either way on a quiz or on your homework assignment. So that takes care of carbon number three. And I'm also told coming off of carbon number two is a methyl group. So I'm going to erase this too because I know where my carbon number two is. And I'm going to draw my methyl group, which is a single carbon and three hydrogens coming off of there. I'm going to go back and erase my numbers for my carbons. So now the last thing I need to do is I need to fill in the hydrogens so that each of my carbons has eight valence electrons. So looking at the first carbon, this is only bonded to another carbon, so I need to have three hydrogens here. Our second carbon has one, has a methyl group, two methyl groups, and another carbon. So it has three atoms attached to it, so we will only put one H. In our third carbon, we have one, two, three atoms surrounding it, so it only needs a single hydrogen. Our fourth carbon has a carbon group attached to it and another carbon group, so we need two hydrogens here. And our last carbon is only attached to another carbon, so it will need three hydrogens. So this is your condensed structural formula for 3-ethyl-2-methylpentane.